What's up? This is the Bama Beast, Marcus, the Bruiser of Bramage, and I'm giving you my Tough 14 blog, episode number four, for MMA Sucker. So, it starts off with uh, Lewis uh, telling uh, Michael Bisping about uh, the matchups that we heard from our mole, John Dotson, a.k.a. I'm telling, but, uh, he let us know that it's going to be Steven Bass versus Dennis Bermudez. So, um, not right now we're in the hole. Uh, I've lost. Uh, Josh Ferguson has lost. So, now we want to, uh, since we know the matchup, we want to prepare as much as possible for the matchup. So, Michael Bisping gets uh, Steven Bass, and he works with him constantly on getting up. That was the whole game plan. Get on your feet. You do not want to be on your back with Dennis Bermudez on top of you. So, he kept hammering him, hammering him, hammering him, hammering him. And, um, Dennis, uh, and, uh, excuse me, Steven, uh, was getting fatigued. Uh, Steven's condition wasn't, wasn't that good going in, but, uh, he was able to slap on the triangle to uh, get into the house. So that's what his game plan was this time. So he kept telling Bisping that you push me too hard, you know, I'm getting a little tired or whatever. So, but Bisping really wanted to get a win so he could start rubbing it into uh, Miller's face. So the fight, the fight occurs, and Dennis hits, uh, Dennis gets hits with three jabs from Stephen Bass. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, it it looked like. Rocky three when he fight against Mr. T, Dennis was like back, back, back. I was like, oh man, you know, Steven might get this. And um Steven like gets clenched up and he just gets taken down. And from there he just kinda just gets uh, you know, dominated the whole time. I mean, that's nothing I can say, I mean and he had plenty of opportunity to get up. I mean, constantly, get up, get up, get up. Not only was Biz being, Razor Rob was saying it, Tiki was saying it, and then eventually the whole blue team, blue team was like, dude, get the fuck up. But, you know, I guess he was still waiting for that triangle. The so second round ends, and, you know, Biz being went on there and told him, get the fuck up. Second round begins, and... This time, Dennis is being aggressive on his feet and gets him down to the ground again. And nothing just happens. I mean, you know, the ref, the ref finally stops it. So after the fight, you know, Steven was kind of like fishing for compliments. Like, you know, uh, hey, uh, yeah, what do you think about the fight? And I was just like, yo, man, you hit him with three jabs. Pop, pop, pop. They were off the chain. That's all I could say, though. I, I couldn't say anything else. But, uh, yeah. After a while, he started getting mad and he started blaming Biz Bean for pushing him too far, pushing him too hard three days prior to the fight. And, you know, he was very adamant about telling Biz Bean about how he felt about it. So, me being the person I am, I was like, hey, won't you just say that lecture until the afternoon practice because you know if you do the morning practice you're going to fuck up the vibe for everybody and then it's going to carry on to the afternoon practice so I just don't think it'll be a good look so why don't we just go ahead and just save that and do that afternoon practice and Steve was like okay but afternoon practice I'm going to have to let Bissy know what's on my mind I was like okay so but quietly, uh, I found out that Rage Rod and Tiki were going to be at the afternoon uh, practice session. So I was like, okay, I can get in major work with, uh, with Rage Rod working on my Muay Thai, and I can get in good work with Tiki working on my uh, wrestling. And since they're not going to be at the afternoon session, I'm just not going to come because. I didn't want to be bothered with that shit. Cause if he would have told, if he told Michael Bisping what he told me, it was about to go down, and I wasn't gonna be around when that shit happened. So, being the person that Stephen Bass is, he sure as hell did not wait to afternoon practice. So 
I, nobody knew this, but he actually pulled Michael Bisping to the side or where the cameras were around and told him how he felt. And I just got done wrapping my hands, so I go and open the door to the gym and I hear Bisping say, How dare you fucking say that shit to me, mate? You didn't follow the game plan. No, it's bullshit. It's bullshit, Bass. And then he walks off. I was like, Damn it, Bass. I said afternoon practice. Now I gotta be around when this shit get bad. So I'm trying to like walk away and, and fucking the bitch was all like, Darkness, get in here! I'm like, shit. So I closed the door and he makes his little speech. And it was funny because it, it kind of felt like we threw Stephen Bass up under the bus because, you know, he was all like, Does anybody agree with Stephen Bass? And Lewis said, Hey, we with y'all away, coach. And then. I mean, it was bad. After that, it was like Stephen Bass had leprosy. Like, unclean, unclean, unclean. Then nobody wanted to be bothered with him. Nobody wanted, like, to breathe the same air that Stephen Bass was breathing at that practice session. I mean, he, he was, like, in the corner looking like a little kid who got his bike stolen. I mean, it was, it was bad, man. It was very bad. But, you know... That shit sucks, and you know, like I said, emotions like that linger, and all of a sudden, Lewis is fighting now, and you know, he's still dealing with that shit too, so whatever, um, Lewis is fighting, Dustin Page, man, Lewis is a scrappy individual, but you know, Lewis is actually a flyweight, so when the UFC starts uh, doing the flyweight division, yo, future champion right there, but uh, Lewis was uh, very scrappy. He he tried to get in, but man, Dustin Page he just utilized his reach, especially in the second round when he was just finding a home for those knees, man, the vicious knees, vicious knees, man. And um, you know he actually like uh, I think he rocked uh, Lewis in the clinch with one of those knees, man. And uh, when he did, he just able to sink in the choke and tap him out. But I tell you what. If Lewis would have hit him with that spinning heel kick, would have been game over. So that is so uh, that is like the sum of it. But uh, next week, trust me, episode number five is going to be very interesting. You do not want to miss that episode. So uh, that's about that's about all I have to say right now. So this is once again. The Bama Beast, Marcus, the Bruiser Brimage, and I'm signing off for my Tough 14 blog, episode number four, for MMASucker.com. Y'all have a good one.